the Hobie Baker rink in Princeton, New Jersey, on the campus of Princeton University. E.J. Raddick, Barry Melrose here. Princeton and Colgate, ECAC hockey. Princeton off to an early 1-0 lead on a goal by Kevin Laurie. To start it the other way, and they do. And Laurie's a goal scorer. Make no mistake about it. It seems like goal scorers, shots like that go in. But it, uh, again, that's just a goal that cannot be given up by Colgate. Up Colgate. And right here, you see Lowry come down the wall. It went between the defenseman legs, I think, but still, that goal's got to be saved. Even's got to make that save. It's just far out. It's across your body. Uh, it's going to go to the far side. So I, again, you just can't give those up, but it seems when you're losing, those go in. Uh, when you're winning, those never go in. Yeah, that goal was uh, Lowry at uh, 125 of the first from Melland and Godolewski. Well, Lowry almost had another goal scoring chance. He beat his man up the ice, his defensive player, and almost had a, a created a two on one out of that. It was a great play by Lowry. You certainly see how dangerous he is. Uh, Kaloff right there, you see Andrew Kaloff. He's leading his team in scoring. Uh, freshman player, uh, very skilled. This line is very dangerous with Lowry and. Uh, and uh, Aranta, so that is one of the most dangerous lines for Prince, and that's a line that has to be kept under control. If and we're fortunate to be joined downstairs by Kevin Laurie, who scored the the lone goal so far in the first period for Princeton. Kevin, EJ, and Barry upstairs, how are you? Uh, doing all right, hopefully better next period. Just take us through your goal there. It was a great shot, left-hand shot from the right wing. Uh, looked like you were looking to use the Colgate defender as a screen. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, it was at the end of shift for me, and uh, just wanted to make a good play, get it to the net, and uh, I was fortunate enough to go in. Kevin, did Colgate sort of catch you guys by surprise late in the period? It looked like the first 10 minutes, you guys had everything under, con under control, no problem, and all of a sudden, Colgate got going, made some great plays. Yeah, um, we know they're a good skating team. Uh, got a couple of bad penalties by us, let them back into the game. Um, we just got to do a little bit better and stay out of the box next period, but uh, hopefully we'll come out uh, Kev, ready to play next period. Kevin, it looks like this uh, ECAC conference is going to be great right to the end. Uh, what are the teams that you've seen so far that uh, that, uh, that you fear in this conference? Uh, well, the good thing about this conference is you got 12 teams that can uh, win on any night. But, uh, I mean, Dartmouth and Yale obviously play uh, up-tempo style of game. And uh, them, Cornell, uh, RPI, Quinnipiac are all teams <laughs> that can beat you. <laughs> hey, what are, what are you guys going to be talking about now in, in between periods here? Obviously, you want to get back on track. As Barry mentioned, it was a great first 10 minutes. What are the things you have to do a little bit better in period number two? Um, first and foremost, got to stay out of the box. Uh, that's uncharacteristic of us. But uh, going to keep it simple, you know, get pucks deep, uh, keep uh, using our speed all around the ice, and hopefully uh, get some dirty goals here next period. All right, Kevin, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Good luck in the second period and throughout the game. And good luck, luck during the season with the Tigers. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, that was Kevin Laurie. New Jersey, we're in between the first and second period, and pleased now to be joined by the head coach of the Princeton Tigers, Guy Godowski. Guy, thanks for taking a few minutes for us. Thank you very much. Hey, you know, your team started off this year three close games, three one-goal losses. Since then, you've been on a roll. You've won 10 of 14. Did you see that coming after those first three games? No, we're very happy to see. We didn't see it coming. We had uh, actually one of our alumni, Kevin Kaiser, saw us play and, and gave us a few, uh, a few of his observations as to what he used to feel like and he used to play like compared to what we did. I think the team took it to heart, made little adjustments, and, and we saw some good things after. You got 10 friends freshmen that are on your roster this year and and one of them is a kid Andrew Kaloff and he's had a he's been a point of game guy for you so far this year what is what is it about him that's made him be able to have make this quick adjustment to college hockey well, well you know what you never know it's something that's yeah. hard to predict but uh, the thing that's great about him is he's just he's really fun to watch I mean he's a real deceptive player he plays the game on on his terms he uh, he, he has a unique way of, of creating offense and I uh, and it's working for him he's fun to watch and, and he creates offense all the time he's a dangerous guy and so far so good after today's game you guys go on a 16 day break kids have exams and they're studying for those things you guys deal with that here at Princeton, but you know, how, what are the challenges for something like that in the middle of a season? You know, there's challenges, obviously, because uh, this is Princeton. The academics mm -hmm. yep. are, are hard, but the, our guys do a fantastic job with that. And, and, you know, you can look at it as a positive, too. I think, at least physically, you can come back a little refreshed. And depending on how your team is feeling at the time, it can actually be a positive. You got two kid goalies that you go back and forth with, Bonner and Condon. Give me your thoughts on why the rotation there. Uh, their, their results, their results mm -hmm. have been excellent. We've had fantastic goaltending. And, you know, you mentioned before, if we saw that coming, the, you know, the recent surge that we've had. And, and certainly, we've been playing much better as a team but they've been fantastic and as always goaltending uh, is a huge factor in that so they've been great uh, the reason why we're going back and forth is simply the results that they've had coach thanks for taking a few minutes we really appreciate it good luck to you and the Tigers the rest of the season thanks EJ appreciate it. 
in that period. And let's now welcome in the uh, assistant coach for the Princeton Tigers, Keith Fisher. And uh, Keith, you know, we just mentioned it here. That power play, it seemed like it was obviously a turning point for Colgate. What do you tell your team now going forward? I guess you guys want to stop taking penalties. Well, that's the main thing, guys. Uh, we controlled momentum right away, what we wanted to do, and then came out and took a couple poor technique penalties and stopped moving our feet. And uh, Colgate got rewarded on the power play for it. So uh, bottom line, we got to stay out of the box and uh, go get momentum back here. Coach, you're a little surprised with Colgate uh, coming back like that, a struggling team uh, that has had a, a horrendous year so far. It's pretty impressive as far as I was concerned that they never quit. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, uh, up front, I think they're a very talented team uh, with Austin, Austin Smith and Brian Day. I mean, they got a lot of talent there. And I know Coach Vaughn always does a great job preparing his team, and uh, I knew that they would never quit. Well, Keith, uh, last question for me now. Uh, you know, your team is an up-tempo team. You're always trying to go forward, always trying to attack. I mean, is that just the plan now going forward against Colgate is just push them back on their heels best you can? Yeah, we got to kill off this penalty here to start the period and then go back to four checking and get pucks on net and hopefully get as many rebound opportunities as we can and uh, hopefully a couple of them will bounce in for us. All right, Coach, thanks a lot. We really appreciate your time. All the best to the Tigers today and rest of the season. Thanks, guys. All right. Right circle with a shot blocked by Smith. Kowalski tries to make a play. He can't get to it. It comes right out to the center point. A shot by Palace just goes wide. Kaloff tries to throw it in front, maybe looking for a bank shot. Can't get it. Now Kaloff again in front. Oh, great chance by Verontas and a great save. Another one. It trickles through and into the net. Second chance opportunity by Kramer. Mike Kramer, and he's able to beat Evan, who made a great save on the first chance by Arantes, but he can't stop Kramer, and we got a tie hockey game. Evan had just made the save of the game, as far as I'm concerned. The pass from behind the goal line to the front of the net. He's got a move there. He was square to the shooter, made a spectacular save, but he couldn't control the rebound. The rebound went out to Arantes, who was in front of the net, and just a great execution. Here's the puck from behind the goal line to the slot. That's a great save by Evan, but right there it goes to Arantes, and he wasn't able to get closed. You see it just trickle by him. Didn't didn't even make it to the back of the net, but it doesn't matter as long as it's over the goal line account. So great execution on power play by Cole, by uh, Princeton. So point for Dune. He kind of dances away from oh. Furman there. Nice backhand to the net. Good save by Evan, and he'll hold on. Fadoon's good. You see how he just held that guy off of his hand, walked across the line, had a couple options, never panicked with the puck, uh, knew his skating ability. Even if he lost the puck, his skating ability would let him catch uh, the player right there. Just walked the line. Just excellent job. Little backhand. Got it through the top guy. Shot doesn't get blocked. Get it to the net. Anything can happen. Probably in this game, that's the guy I've been most impressed with is Fadoon. All right, Goodlewski with a shot to end action right there, Barry. Well, if uh, Prince comes back and wins this game, that save uh, by Condon right there probably did it. It would have been a 4-2 a, a game. All the momentum would have been going Colgate's way. They make a great passing play. They do exactly what they want. They have great execution. Puck went one side. It goes back. It looks like a wide open net. Maybe didn't get enough on it, but that's a great save by Condon. And not only Colgate uh, ends up uh, not scoring on it, but they also end up taking a penalty. So we got another five on three like that. That was awesome. All right, Princeton on the attack again, coming to the net. It's it's Laurie with a shot just wide. Goaltender is down. Chance in front. It's losing and banged it in front. It looks like it was Mellon. And we got a tie hockey game. Well, Smith is Smith is very angry and upset at himself. I think he thought he could have knocked the puck out of the way. It was in front of the net, and I think Smith had a chance to clear it, and then it, and it didn't get out of there, and M uh, Mellon ends up getting the play. Now, right there, great work. Going to the net. Puck is loose. You see Smith, number nine, right there beside the net. And there's the puck loose, and he doesn't clear it, and it ends up going off his stick right into the net. And right there, you see Smith at the side. The puck is loose. He wasn't able to get it out of there. He was on his knees, and the puck ends up... Fadoon the other way, long pass, knocked down. Loose in the neutral zone, Fadoon is able to bang it back in the zone. I love Fadoon, that kid, he, he's great. He's strong, great passer, a great skater, he's fearless, love the way he plays. And that Kowalski in way deep. He's caught back there now as Laurie starts the other way. Laurie now down the side, right wing circle, shoots, scores! Same place that he scored early in the game. Right wing circle, left hand shot, and beats Evan to the far side. It's four three Princeton. And EJ, that's what we've been talking about all game long, a two on one. In a three three game, the puck's in, in the uh, Princeton end. It's 200 feet to your net, and you give up a two on one. There's no way you should give up a two on one in that scenario. And then Laurie gets another uh, shot from the side, a two on one. 
You can't be giving up outnumbered chances this time of the game. And that's what I said about making a play to win or making a play to lose. There's no way a defenseman, if he pinches, he pulls up and now throws it down behind the net. Ammond is there for Princeton. Ammon holding, looking to set up, comes out in front. The puck goes to Palace. He gets it down low. Zook with a shot. He scores! Brody's up! From the low part of the left wing circle, they take advantage of the power play opportunity, and now it's Princeton 5, Colgate 3. Zook's been very good in this game. It's, it's good to see him rewarded with a goal because he's done a lot of dirty things. We talked about his father being a, an ex-pro, so he's raised around hockey. You can tell that the, the way he plays without the puck. Great shot down low. Palace makes a play. Doesn't get his shot blocked. He passes down to Zook. And Evan is uh, committed to the shot from Palace. So he's out of the play, as you mentioned, and a wide open net. But uh, again, what killed uh, Colgate is giving up that five on four goal or the, the four, uh, the, the two on one goal where they gave it up in this third period. And now we got a, a two goal lead instead of a, a tie 3 3 game. Yeah, that's the first goal of the season for Brody Zook. A, nat a native of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, so you're proud of him there, and they get a timeout. Colgate's going to talk it over. Glory fly. He, he scored two goals on shots, and that was just a rocket down the, the right side. He likes that right side, and he was cutting towards the net. Showed a lot of strength. Nice stretch pass right there. Look at the speed right there. I love that. Just put the head down, lose the helmet. Everything was good right there. Excellent play by Laurie. And again, if he doesn't score in the initial rush, there's a nice big rebound just laying there for somebody to shoot in the wide open net. Laurie's had a strong game right uh, today for Princeton. Pair of goals today for Laurie, the native of Sioux City, Iowa. Ends up in the glove of Condon, and boy, he's got to feel pretty lucky there because he was out of position when that puck came toward the net. Probably uh, after that uh, pe uh, shorthanded chance in the second period, that's Condon's best sequence. He moved very well. Uh, he found the puck. Uh, puck was laying there after a nice play on the power play and again Colgate's movement around much better now they're doing things quick and they're looking for the shot but Condon had a nice quick glove there the puck was laying in the slot area and he was able to just hang on for a 5-4 victory and for the Colgate Raiders just another one goal loss well Colgate's just playing good enough to lose and, and they play with a lot of heart uh, and all that but giving up a two-on-one in the third period in a 3-3 game those are things that cost you wins. Uh, Fadoon blocked the last shot right there for uh, Princeton. I thought he had a magnificent game on defense. Uh, Lowry, I thought, was excellent. Condon didn't have uh, a lot of shots. He made a couple saves at the end when it was 5-4. Uh, that's what winning goalies do. It's not how many you save, it's when you make them. He made some key saves late in the third period. He did make some big saves there, especially late. Colgate really pushed Barry. Another exciting game, though. We've been lucky. We've had a couple of now where it's been high scoring and exciting right to the end. We had Vermont and Dartmouth uh, last month, and now this one with Colgate and Princeton today. Well, Colgate's in a real tough state right now. The, the coach mentioned the word fragile, and they certainly are. Princeton, I like. We've seen Yale. We've seen Dartmouth. We've seen Union. Certainly three of the better teams in this conference. Uh, Princeton is right there with those teams. Uh, certainly, uh, they've got a lot of weapons. They've got a lot of offensive weapons. I love their defense, uh, led by Fadoon, as I mentioned. So uh, I think we've seen a lot of uh, great teams in this conference. I think Yale and Princeton here at the Welcome back inside the Hobie Baker rink on the campus of Princeton University, Princeton, New Jersey. A chilly January day, cold outside, but certainly it was hot in the building here, on the ice at least. Upstairs it was chilly. It's chilly. On the ice it was hot. There was a lot of great action, and we're lucky right now to be joined by the goaltender of the Princeton Tigers, Mike Condon. Uh, Mike, E.J. Raddick, and Barry Melrose upstairs. Congratulations on the victory. It was a wild game today. Oh, yeah, it was a back-and-forth battle for sure, and, uh, you know, the guys really bailed me out there in the third and throughout the game, so I got to give up uh, all the credit to my uh, my teams today. Mike, obviously this, this wasn't a typical game for you. You hardly saw any shots for long periods of time. Now, in a cold building like this where it is cold, is it harder physically to stay ready or mentally to stay ready when you don't see a lot of shots? Well, I think it's more of a mental battle, to tell you the truth. Um, I really like to get in the groove the first couple minutes of the game, and uh, it's been tough this uh, this year because the guys don't give up many shots. So it's sort of a mental battle for me. I'm always physically ready, but i got to stay my uh, get my head in the game and try to get some confidence. Well, as we're talking to you, Mike, they're going to show you some of your saves. I thought you made some great ones in the third period. Now, this rotating goalies back-to-back, -back, it's really interesting to me being an ex-coach. How, how do you handle it? Do you like it? Uh, would you rather play more? I'll give you a chance on national TV to talk about that. <laughs> well, I couldn't choose uh, two other better goalie partners than Alan Reynolds and Sean Bonner. You know, we got a great, great atmosphere here in the goalie lounge at Princeton, and, uh, you know, we really get to get along together great. And uh, we're all eager to help the team win in any way possible. So, you know, it's been great so far, and we have all, I think we've done a, 
pretty decent job in uh, helping get some W's for the team. I can probably think when you turn pro, your answer might change, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Mike, I got to ask you, I mean, you guys have a 16-day break coming up. I mean, this is all part of it at Princeton. You know, they have the exams coming up. You know, the academics are, are, you know, they come first here, but it's tough in the middle of the season to have that kind of break. What is, how does the team feel about the break, and how do you handle that? Well, it's, we're pretty busy, to tell you the truth, uh, writing papers and exams, so, you know, we got to take care of the academic end first, as Coach always tells us, so once we share up that end, we, we're working hard in the weight room and on the ice, you know, running beep tests and stuff like that, so we're always physically ready, and when Sacred Heart comes, I think it's the 25th, we'll be uh, ready to go, for sure. All right, well, Mike, listen, congratulations, great win today, good luck on the exam, study hard, and then we'll see you when you're back out here again, and uh, good luck the rest of the season. All right, thanks, guys, appreciate it. All right, that was Mike Condon, the winning goaltender from the Princeton Tigers. We're going to take a break. Welcome back inside the Hobie Baker rink on the campus of Princeton University, Princeton, New Jersey. Barry, we had a wild one here today, Princeton 5, Colgate 4. Good news for Princeton, they go into their 16-day break with a win. We don't talk about the Hobie Baker voting is going to start uh, tomorrow. And so there you see the voting begins at uh, 12 noon. And, uh, you know, that's something, obviously, a big moment in college hockey. Well, one thing, I was walking around this building before the game, and I love doing that in old buildings, and, and I saw this thing written about Hobie Baker. He invented, basically, the men's hockey skate. The skates in the old days was flat at the bottom, and he curved the, the 